Today we're going to be talking about different types of access for hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is a procedure where you use a device to remove your own blood and run through a machine to get filtered to treat renal failure. And traditionally there are essentially three ways to do hemodialysis, three types of access. About half of the patients end up needing to start dialysis emergently. And when that happens, what you need is called a dialysis catheter. A dialysis catheter is about a five millimeter tube that is inserted usually in a vein in the neck, and then we tunnel under the skin. And this catheter tip goes into a big vein called the superior vena cava. The problem with catheters is they are not a good long-term solution. There are several problems associated with them. The most important are, one, you can't really take a shower when you have a catheter. You have to always be taking a cat bath sort of thing. You have to keep it covered all the time. It involves a lot of work maintaining the catheter. And, they have a high risk of getting infected. So the second option is called an arteriovenous fistula. And traditionally that has been done by a surgeon cutting through the skin and then dissecting the vein, which means isolating the vein, bend, bending it and connecting to an artery. And it can be done sometimes in the wrist and sometimes in the upper arm, there are different veins you can use. They only work about 70% of the time. The chance of success is not that great. The other problem with fistulas is not everybody is a candidate. Some people just don't have good veins. You need to have at least a decent vein to be able to, do, to use it to create an access. The patients that don't have a suitable vein, the next option would be a graft. A graft is when we sew a plastic tube in the arm and we sew one side to the artery and the other side to the vein. The main advantage of the grafts are that you don't need to have a vein and also they can be used in two to three weeks after the surgery. The problem with them is they don't often last a long time and they re may require multiple procedures to keep them open. In summary, there are three devices we can install to be able to do hemodialysis. In a pinch, you can get a catheter that can be placed and used right away, but they're not good long-term solutions. The fistulas are the best, but they may take a while to be able to be used, and sometimes they may not work at all, and some patients may not even be candidates. And a graft is a good option for patients that don't have veins, but they also are not as long-lasting. This is Minimally Invasive Insights, and see you next time.